Number four is excise taxes. Excise tax is a per unit tax on producers. They could do it on consumers, but it's actually a, a per unit tax. For every unit made, the producer must pay the tax. It's not a lump sum one time only tax. The goal is for them to make less of the good that the government seems dangerous or wanted. Examples are cigarettes, sin tax, alcohol, sin tax, tariffs on imported goods, environmentally unsafe products. And there could be others. And one of the others I would say is gasoline that we use on this. So, you know, it's a tax per unit on producers, but a lot of times the Congress or the lawmakers would say we want the consumers to pay it because obviously cigarettes, we want the consumer to pay a higher price so they buy less cigarettes. It's not necessarily on the producer. We want the consumer to actually not buy cigarettes and not do that. Alcohol, the same kind of thing. So the question is, we can actually tax the producer or we can tax the consumer. And the interesting thing is the tax works the same way. It doesn't matter whether you tax producers or consumers, the outcome is always the same. So whether a tax is effective and taxes the uh, producer more, the consumer more, depends on the shape of the graph, not whether it's a tax on producers or consumers. That doesn't make any difference. It's the outcome is the same. So we're going to go over a tax. We're going to explain it. We'll probably do a couple versions and look at that. But one of the things on the test that I have for unit one test, it does not matter whether you tax producers or consumers. The tax works the same. So there's no difference you can't say the producer pays the tax or the consumer pays the tax. It's kind of split. It doesn't matter which way. And then the other thing is whoever pays most of the tax is the, the more inelastic or the one that can't get away from it. So notice that we put taxes on cigarettes, alcohol. Those are necessities typically. So somebody said if we put a tax on toilet paper, if we put a tax on um, toothpaste, those are necessities. Cigarettes are necessities for those that smoke. Alcohol is a necessity for those that drink the alcohol and they can't get away from it. So those people pay the tax. Now, if you put a tax on something like a car, uh, people don't have to pay the car. They can buy something else. So in that case, maybe the producer will pay the tax because the buyer says, forget that. I'm not going to pay that higher price. So whoever is the most inelastic, and we'll go over inelastic and elastic in a class, and I'll have a video for you. And I'll show you the different graphs. I don't want to get a lot into it. It's not going to be really on the AP test, but I want you to understand what inelastic means um, and what elastic means. And we're going to be looking at this. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in class. Please ask after this video or post in classroom.